Hey guys, it's your boy Mark Bell with another video, and I'm here to give you my review of NJPWG One Climax 29 2019 Day 18 review. And I just finished watching the show short of. Uh, honestly, I, I, I've actually already watched 12 highlights of um, the finals for the G1, which have already happened by this point. And I'm pretty, uh, I was pretty, like, bitter about, uh, you know, uh, about, uh, the fact that Jay White, spoiler alert, by the way, didn't win, uh, the whole thing. Um, but, man, when I found out he won two on this night, I was ecstatic. Uh, I've actually already filmed my review for the finals, but I'm actually gonna upload this first, and then upload that one straight after, you know? So the finals... G1 this year is finally over, you know, it was hard work, it really was, but, uh, I'm done with New Japan until, uh, until Wrestle Kingdom next year, it's funny, I've already, I've already done every single one of my New Japan reviews for, uh, for this decade, and I've only been reviewing them since, uh, January 2018, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, I just, there's literally a two and a half minute highlight video because I was just bitter about uh, Jay White not winning the whole thing, so uh, I just watched that, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on uh, uh, this day, um, and uh, I, didn't, I didn't even type in my star ratings, bro, um, but uh, I'll do that now. Sorry. Um. Yep. Let's get this over with, really. Um, opening match, G1 Climax 29 B-Block match. Toriyanu versus Jeff Cobb. The, uh, intro was, um, the intro was, uh, the, what happened at the start of this match was funny, bro. Yeah, Toriyanu, he had a whole bunch of, like, tape or toilet paper or whatever in his pants, and the referee was taking it all out, and, uh, then Toriyano did a couple moves, actually, but ultimately, Jeff Cobb, with his finisher, defeated Toriyano to, to end his, his, uh, G1 day, you know, so cool, um, next up, we had Tomohiro Shii versus Taichi, which was dang good, uh, not phenomenal, in my opinion, no, this is only based off a two and a half minute highlight video of the entire show, but, uh, it looks like a typical dang great Ishii match. Tai Chi, I don't really know. But, uh, Tomohiro Tomo Ishii actually thought he had a one. But Tai Chi actually pulled out the victory. So that was awesome. Uh, next up, we have uh, Juice Robinson versus John Moxley. Um, uh, John Moxley still has a victory over uh, Juice Robinson, at least. And that was for when he won. The IWGP US title. Uh, Juice Robinson did a really cool cannonball to Moxley on the outside. And, um... I mean, Juice, Juice winning this match already put a bad taste in my mouth. Anyway, um... Juice did the, the pop friction and that was it. Uh, he beat Moxley right there. Beat my boy Dean Ambrose to end his G1. Then we had, uh, Haruki Goto versus Shingo Takagi. This was... This was dang good. Pretty stiff, you know, like tough match, rough match. Um, Shingo Takagi, um, kind of surprised he actually beat Goto, um, but happy, of course, that he did. Um, and in the highlights video, I'm gonna be honest, I can't even tell who's who. I, I can't tell who's Goto and who's Shingo Takagi, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. But of course, we go into the main event. The only thing I absolutely love about this show. Um, I, and I was so happy, it pissed off a lot of idiot smocks, um, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, by the way, by the way, guys, I'm not an anti-smock, I think both smocks and anti-smocks are complete douchebags, they both suck, smocks just want everything handed them on a silver platter, and anti-smocks just want wrestling ruined, okay, ruined and turned to shit, 
That's the truth, man. Like, they didn't even like wrestling. They just wanted to die, basically. But anyway, I was, just for the fact that uh, Jay White uh, won the main event and won the B block, which sucks he didn't win the whole thing tonight, but um, that alone um, uh, hit me. Uh, that alone was going to... The fact that Jay White won alone was making me happy, you know? Uh, he actually kicked out of a freaking, well, at least I think he did. It shows, uh, Naito landing of Destino in the highlights I watched. And, uh, I assume Jay White kicked out. I don't know how Jay White won, but he did. Because, uh, the highlights showed him hitting, um, the Blade Runner before we see Naito doing the, the freaking, um, Destino. But, I was always gonna love this match. Just with the fact that Jay White won. And I remember idiot smocks were posting, Naito wins or nothing. And guess what? He didn't win the B block. It was Jay White. Jay White won the B block. No one can ever take away from that, that away from him. No matter what idiot smock says he did. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm so happy that Jay White won. And he's still a former IWGP Heavyweight Champion. Jay White. He should still be the IWGB Heavyweight Champion, honestly. Um, I'm still, that's, that was, I actually went on a little rant about the fact that Okada is champion again, even though he literally just had a two year reign and they just put it back on him. Like, I love Okada, but that, that pissed me off, honestly. That pissed me off so much when I heard about it, man. But, uh, yeah. That was my review of NJPW G1 Climbers 29 2019, day 18, and I've officially reviewed all of these. Um, of course, I'm going to upload this first before you see um, my finals review, because I actually recorded that before I did this. But I'm going to upload this first, I, I'm just just to be clear. You know, I'm just saying it again, just to be clear. And, uh, yeah. So that's my review, guys. Peace out.